Welcome to Ilha Grande, welcome to Brazil. Today I'm going to be riding a bicycle from Ilha Grande to this village called Dos Rios, which is on the other side of this island. The bicycle ride should take about 10 kilometers on the way there and 10 kilometers on the way back. I'm just renting the bicycle from this location you see behind me here and it's 50 here is for all day. So bicycle rental place I think on this village is only one location and I've just picked up this bike, the one on the floor here and I'm gonna get going on that island now. And I'm gonna get going to the village. Uh, I have done a walk there as well, Dos Rios. You can check out my previous video uh, to see how long it takes for walking as well. And the same distance, either you can walk or take a bicycle. There is a shorter distance. You could take some shortcuts if you're walking there, but there is a road that goes there and it's pretty rough road actually. We have got a bicycle with only front suspension, no back suspension here, because there is no other bike available here, but we'll see anyway. Should be good fun. The weather right now is uh, nice and warm, so let's get going. Right now, I'm walking with a bike right now. As I'm going towards the incline, the incline is quite steep here actually. And these bikes don't work on all the gears. So I'm walking with a bike. As you can see, probably I'm sweating right now. It's very humid here. We got a lot of canopy at the top. It's quite nice actually, we are riding in the shade, or walking in the shade right now, but the canopy does stop the airflow from coming in here as well. But the views are amazing, soon we're going to get to the highest point and then on the other side we're going to go down the hill, so that should be fun. On the way back, this will be down the hill. But right now it's just going up the hill, so walking with bikes, amazing. Also I can hear the jungle sound, it's quite beautiful, enjoy the views. So right now I've just made it to the viewpoint. As you can see, we started our trail from that village just at the bottom here. We went all the way around up into this mountain and we have arrived here. Pre pretty much all of this is an incline. There are some flat spots on this way, but most of it, majority of it is an incline. We have a little bit of incline to go in this direction here as well. Once we get up that hill, it should be pretty much down the hill from there. So it should be good fun. It's a really tiring journey when you're coming up the hill. But when you see this view here behind me, it's uh, definitely worth it. 
and it's so nice and windy here I'm gonna take a break here for about 10 minutes uh, maybe have a sandwich I would advise anyone coming on this trail to bring their own food it would be ideal because you will burn a lot of calories so you need to replace them replace them with some food Right now I made it to the highest point I think on this journey from here right behind me you can see it's still inclined all the way here from here it's going downhill now so hopefully this journey should be really good fun on the this journey here most of the time it's quite windy here as well actually on this journey most of the time I had to walk with the bicycle here but now I should be able to ride down the hill from here and then when we come up, it'll be up the hill just to here. And then from here, all the way down to Villa de Abrao, downhill. So it should be good fun on the way back, hopefully. But from here, we should go downhill. So right now we have stopped for a break uh, as you can see in front of me here is a bamboo tree and on the cross the road there's a banana tree here and there is a small river that runs just up here this river will continue and will go all the way to the village So right now I've just arrived in the village that's the welcome sign here and the village starts from here all the way down
So this is the church. Uh, by the way, when you come in the village, you have to register your name there. I don't know why they do that. Just write your name so they know you arrive here. And also, this is one of the beautiful church here on this location. And the village starts from here. A lot of flowers. There's two restaurants here. One is that one there. And there's one on the other side. So there is a restaurant here. We're gonna go and buy a ice cream from here. Just got a acai here uh, in this restaurant here. They don't sell ice cream. They only sell acai. So this is acai. quite delicious actually acai is a local fruit that's made in Amazonia Amazon rainforest and then it's been processed and then they add a I think they probably add sugar in here and it tastes quite delicious smoothie Finally, we made it here to the Dos Rios. This is the beach here and the one river is on the, that side over there and then the another river is on this side of the beach, right on the corner there. So this is how the name Dos Rios of this village became. Dos Rios meaning two rivers, that's the name of this village. And the, it's getting a little bit cloudier and also windy here as well. But the bike journey was amazing. After the hill, it just went downhill. So all we have to do is hold the brake. We didn't even have to paddle. But the views are amazing. Right now, there's nobody on the beach. Literally, this whole beach is quite empty. And all the way up there as well. The waves are quite nice actually, they're quite good for surfing today, uh, they're quite big but the sun keeps coming out and in so it's quite nice weather in a way but it's not nice as well when it disappears, it gets a little bit chilly here now but the views are amazing. So the journey up to here was 10.9 uh, kilometers and this is the highest point in this uh, journey, 690 meters high and that's the village there below the Abrao up to here, those rios, that's the trail. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, I'm gonna head back now. 
go back to the same way and subscribe if you haven't thank you for watching this video